Hi guys, I told you guys that I would share with you how I store my kits for the month as I'm using them. So I do like to keep my kits all unpackaged and in trays throughout the month when I'm using them. And so this is my Project Life kit from the Scraptastic kit. And um, the way that I, I mean, I haven't touched it at all. I haven't used it at all. I just took it out of the box. So all of the cards are here, but as the month progresses, this of course, more and more of these cards get inside of my Project Life and they're not here anymore. Um, so this is about as full as the kit gets. Um, so I keep the stamps there, I keep all of the embellishments over here. What I do is I go through and I cut up, like this month came with two sheets of Ormolu cut apart, so I just cut them apart already. So these are all of the banners from the two sheets. Um, and then these are all of the flags and labels from the two sheets. And I just put them on these binder clips so it keeps them together and I can kind of look through them easily. And then I keep all of the, like, the loose embellishments. And um, this kit did come with a slick writer, which is a um, really great pen for writing on slick surfaces. Um, I, didn't, I didn't review that in my kit. I didn't see it. It got covered by something and the washi tape and everything. I keep it all right there. And I just keep it right here, literally beside where I work. Um, and when I do Project Life, I'm usually kind of like I spread myself out across here. Um, and so then I can just kind of pick at it. Right beside it, I keep a tray of other things, either things from previous kits that I didn't use last month that I want to make sure I use or little things like Craft and Bun sent me these little flowers and I want to make sure I use them and I have these pins that I want to use and that sort of thing. So, um, and I also keep usually some punched hearts right here because I use a lot of punched hearts. So um, whenever this runs low, I'll just punch a bunch more. So that's my project life kind of work area. And then this is where I store my kits. So I have two of these um, pegboard things that I got from Michaels. They they kind of they go with their Jetmax stuff or their Recollections branded Jetmax. And you can hang them on the wall or you can also put them on the sides of your cube. So I have two hanging on my wall. They come in, in packages of three. So I'm just not using the third one. Um, and I just hang all of my embellishments on there because usually, you know, like when I'm working here, what I do is I grab my, this is another Recollections branded Jetmax and it's like the half height, so it's not as tall as they usually are. And it came with drawers in it, but I use the drawers for something else. So I just put, like if I get two kits, I'll put the second kit here. This month I got the, um, the add-on from Out on the Town. And I'll probably scrapbook with both of these kits together, but because it's the beginning of the month and I have the space, I have them separated by kit. And I just keep the papers in these, what these trays are is, does it say? No, this one is blank. Um, they are the Becky Higgins um, boxes that your big, bo your big packages of page protectors come in. So I keep the pattern paper in these Becky Higgins boxes with the cardstock on the bottom and the, and the pattern paper on the top. And then I usually just kind of float the stamp there. And then I put the embellishments in these trays. These are, this is an antique silver tray. It's obviously really tarnished. Um, but it's for carrying like sugar and, and cream and stuff to the table, I think. And then, so this is my main kit. So I have the main kit and the add-on. So there's more stuff in this one. And I use a divided candy dish. It's just a glass dish that you put candy in. Um, and I have all of my little goodies in here. I pre-cut the L Studio cut aparts that came with the kit. Um, and I tried to, and I also pre-cut the, um, the pennants from Ormolu just so that it's easy for me to grab them and use them. I find if they're a piece of paper, it's hard for me to kind of visualize and fit the pieces around on my layout and know whether they're going to work. And also it's, I'm less likely to use them if they're in a sheet. So I just like to cut them apart. It only takes a few minutes and then it makes the kit a lot easier to use. I float the stamps in there. And then usually I would hang, because this is a sheet of stickers, usually I would hang this up here, but I don't have any room this month. So I'm just gonna leave it right here. And again, I've got kind of like pattern paper on top and the cardstock is all on the bottom. And as I go through and use this, there will be more and more scraps. I just keep the scraps all in this box. 
and then at the end of the month I kind of get rid of it and put it all into my stash. So that's how I use my kits and I keep them like this right up until the next kit arrives. So when the next kit arrives these will be all used up. They'll probably not be gone but there will be certainly lots of holes in them. <laughs> Um, and then what I do is I um, kind of take all my leftovers and I put it into my stash like I put the pattern paper where the pattern paper goes and the stickers where the stickers go and the letter stickers where the letter stickers go and the embellishments and so on and then I put the stamps where my stamps go and then everything is empty and I'm ready to put my new kit in it and that's how I, I just I scrapbook month to month with that month's kit and then any leftovers get put into my stash and I do use them, like I do draw upon my stash a lot through the month, so, um, you know, eventually they'll all get used, in theory. <laughs> um, so, thanks so much for watching and having a peek at how I scrapbook with a kit through the month. Take care, everybody, and happy scrapping.